Hi, all my beautiful ladies. Okay, so there was a problem with one of my videos that I had posted on YouTube. It was my brow tutorial. And the problem with it was that I had some music playing in the background. And that created some conflict. So I had to take that video down. So I am redoing my brow tutorial video. So that's going to be like an updated type redo the brows. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. Before, as I said, what you'll need, you'll just need a pencil. I'm using Essence of Beauty. You'll just need a brown pencil or whatever color, taupe, blonde, whatever color you use. I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper in Light Medium. I use a very teeny tiny thin brush. Look how thin that brush is. Like this brush is like, I don't even know if you can see how thin this brush is. And then I use a powder duo and I have a light shade and a dark shade. So I also use a brow wax. This is from Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Shaper. So I help, I put this on first because as you can see my brows are very sparse, very thin. So all I do is, oh, and of course you know you're going to need a spoolie, right? Got to have a spoolie. So all you do is you just put this on just like this same thing as like your brow wax anyway so you put it on and it just helps keep your brows down in place for me anyway I, I actually do this because then I want to see where they are where I want them and then I'm going to comb them to exactly where I want them so I have to step back for this lady just so I can kind of see because one's sparse and one goes up, one goes down. Our brows are sisters. They are not twins by any means. So do not get frustrated. If one is different than the other, they're going to be different than the other. And if you keep adding and adding and adding, trying to get them straight, then you're just going to look like you have something drawn on your face. So, I get... Oh my God, I almost lost everything. Again, we're going to zoom in. Not zoom in because, of course, we're going to move in. Now... I like to start with this brow because this brow is my easy brow, this brow is my problem brow. Now, for your brows, you want to take a pencil and wherever, you know, so my brows would start right there. And they would start right there. Now, I can see the little mark. You might not. Oh, and then you want to have like a little bit of cover up on the back of your hand just to clean up your brows with like just a foundation brush. So I have to draw on the front of my brows because they do not like to grow there. So the little teeny tiny maybe three hairs that do grow, I just cut them. I pluck them out. So all I do is I look at the corner of my eye and I go up. So right about here is good enough for me. Okay, and then I keep going in a straight line. I do it in a very just straight line. And then I will add to my tail. Now my definition really comes from the top of the brows where my thickness comes from, not the underneath. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to basically start And see how I drew that straight line to kind of mimic this straight line. Okay, so... hate how that sun was glaring in. It still kind of is, but that's somewhat better. So, as I'm looking straight ahead, they look pretty even. 
Now your brows should stop at the corner of your eye underneath, okay? I don't like to go down too, too far. I think that's good enough for me. And really, ladies, this is your own preference. However thick, however big in here you like your brows, by all means, do whatever makes you feel good. Now we're going to go with the top. So underneath, they're looking pretty okay. So this brow is higher than this brow. So again, we have to mimic the front. Well, I have to mimic the front. So... I'm just going to do a little flick ups here, if you can even see that. See the little flick ups, they kind of look like hairs, very ever so lightly. Like I'm using such a light hand, this is the best brow, it is so creamy, it just glides on. You do not have to use a heavy hand for this at all. It, it kind of hurts me sometimes, but now I'm going to go just to the top of my hairs. Now, where your brow highest point is, if you take a pencil and you go, I can't even see myself, if you go to your eye right here, there's your highest point, right there. So that's where my arch is going to be, right there, which would be my arch. Okay, so there would be the arch. Now, I promise you, after I'm done blending and everything, I don't like very thick brows. I like very thin brows. I think they just look more elegant on me, more natural on me. I promise you, I will show you how to lighten up how dark that is. Because it's not going to stay looking like that. So, now I will leave the top of my brow and the front here alone because that will be filled in with powder. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's okay. You can watch. It's my goddaughter. She's watching. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go up. Your arch starts about right here on this brow. To mimic the same as this one, okay? And I am using short, short strokes. Now I did the same thing in the front here with the hairs, but that will be filled in with powder. So now as I look straight ahead, this one of course still looks higher than this one. So we are going to have to mimic this one and make it a little higher just to kind of even it out.
and taking it out. And we can also take away from this one. So now that we got the basic line, we're going to go ahead and we're going to spoolie through this. I promise you at the end it will all come together. This is a little bit tight on me now. So now I'm going to go in with... Looks like this stuff. Shh. I'm going to go in with the lightest brown here. And that's where I'm going to mimic the front of the brown. So we're just going to take it and just lightly fill it in. So it looks somewhat like a brow. It's going to be very light in the front and then as the back goes it'll be darker. So the front you want light and then you want it to gradually get darker as we go to the back. We're going to do the same thing with this side. And that color just before just helps to create a shadow. And then all the powder is doing is helping to set all that pencil and wax that we did put on. Now underneath, I always want mine very, very sharp. So now I'm going in with the darker brown. And... We're going to do underneath from the beginning and then with whatever's left on your brush, just take it to blend it in. And then of course the tail. Okay, so there's one brow. Looks kind of crazy right now, but I'll show you in a minute. Whatever's left. Again, we're going to come through very easily at this point because we don't want to take away a ton of product unless you see an area where a ton of product could be smoothed out then that's where you want to push pressure but other than that you want it to look filled in now we're going to go in with our concealer brush on that little bit of product that I have on the back of my hand and I'm going to clean them up so I'm going to go from underneath my brow like that
and then we will be going on top. And this is why I saved my powder for last and blush and stuff because I know that my eyebrows, I'm going to have to use concealer and you don't want them to look chalky. So, there's one. Let's go to this one. A little more concealer. Of course, because it dried up on the back of my hand. And just clean it up. Okay, now this one is looking a little wretchedly too high. Now in the in the beginning you're not they're not gonna be like unbelievable you have to try to do the best to make them. It's hard to explain, but if you know and you do your brows, you know what I'm talking about. In the beginning they're not by any means gonna look equal even anything until you shape them up in the end and you're done and you fix them and you make them look you know even then and mine are quite drawn on because like you have seen I don't have any so y'all can talk about my drawn on brows it's okay now I think that's pretty damn even if you ask me I think that's really pretty even I think they look pretty good so now my favorite product because it actually makes me look like I have brow hairs and it sets them in place now if you ever see me talking like I'm, I'll always be doing this or one eyebrow will be up and you know they're like oh your eyebrows are so uneven no they're not I have dramatic like if I hold them straight across like this that's pretty good um, I have dramatic face expressions when I talk with my eyebrows and I'm just being very serious. Now it's just a small little wand. This guy here is awesome. And then you just take this and comb this through your brows. And it will lighten them up if you're using a darker and that's another reason why I used a very dark pencil because this will lighten them up and I don't know if you can see it but you can kind of if my camera would focus you can kind of see I'll show you I'll stay right here where it will put like light strokes on the little hairs that you do have there and it looks really actually natural so I really actually love this product I am obsessed with it so far. This one you can even see better because I have a little more hairs right here in the front. It'll start to make them like light brown. And then so forth and so on. And it helps to mix up the colors that are in there. My goddaughter wants to go swimming. It's really nice out today. And tomorrow is the 4th, ladies. And I hope everybody has a wonderful 4th of July. I hope you do whatever your heart desires. And I hope everybody is safe, happy. Do not drive. Please do not drive drinking or anything like that. Call a cab this year. We don't need to lose any more lives. Every, every single year there's always a life loss or something going on. So please, by all means, call somebody or walk. Go somewhere close where you have to walk. And I know that's none of my business, and I really shouldn't be saying that, but I care about people. And that's just me in general. I care about people. I love people. I am genuinely a good-hearted person. So there is my face. I've got gloss on my lips. 
Let's put some, just like some coral glass on here. Just for the sake of the video. Glossy glass. There, done. This is my makeup today. So, but yeah, anyways, please, please, please be careful. I love you ladies so, so much. And, you know, it, it's really not worth your life. And it's not just you. It's, you got to be careful of everybody around you also. Like, the fourth is going to be crazy. There's going to be so many cops out. And there's going to be a lot of people drinking and driving. So, if I could get any message out, out of this tutorial, it is please, please be so, so careful tomorrow. Because even if you aren't drinking and driving, somebody else is going to be. I will guarantee it. So, with that being said, I love you so, so very much. Have a great 4th of July. Make it the best. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.